Today we're in the shop talking about organization. And I don't know if this video is for you guys watching or maybe the guys I share the shop with will see this and catch a hint too. But recently I built this shop uh, cleanup center uh, just to kind of get everything organized. Seemed like we were had stuff all over the shop, whether it was roll of paper on the floor or some of our cleanup items you know, across the shop. And I just wanted them all in one place and just have a, a place where we could store everything and have it right at hand. So I, when I built this, I didn't want to have just a bunch of shelves that stuff got thrown on and it was even more of a clutter. So it's got a lot of features here and we'll just look at them from the bottom up. So it starts here at the bottom. I have some angled pegs that hold our, some of our cleanup items, apron, whatnot. Um, you could also use it for oily rags while, while you're drying them out um, before you throw them away. And then moving up, I have this is kind of like the main feature that I wanted is a place to get our craft paper that we use to cover up the bench when we're doing finishing, kind of up off the floor and a little bit more usable. Um, the dowel for this fits in, slides into this, this dado and then drops into a slot. So it keeps it in place there and can still rotate. And then I added this uh, cutter arm and it's just a, consists of some swinging arms that is attached to some angle iron. And most of the time when you get angle iron, it's got this kind of rounded finish edge on it. So on this side, I squared it off with a file to give it a little bit more of a straight, sharp edge. You know, tear that paper easily, get to it really quick without bringing over a knife or scissors. And then as we move up, I just got a simple shallow shelf here. It uh, stores a lot of my, you know, smaller items like gloves, tack cloth, foam brushes and uh, dust masks, you know, whatever will fit on there. And as we go to the top, I have an uh, area that's more customized with cubbies. I got uh, this piece with a cutout here so I can quickly grab, you know, my disposable rags. Um, and then I got some cubbies that fit some of my finishing items and cleanup items. And then here at the front, I have a, a small cubby with some stop slots on either end. And that fits a dowel in there. And then I can slide a roll of paper towels right in there. Snaps right in. So then I have paper towels that are, that are really easy to grab whenever I need them. The construction of this project is pretty simple. I use some dados to hold the shelves, but you could just as easily do butt joints and screws. I like to use dados myself. It helps with assembly, getting everything kind of located in the right place and makes it a little bit stronger. Plus I had to make this dado for the craft paper uh, holder anyways. So I just went to the extra trouble and did that. And I think it worked out really well. Some of the little bit trickier techniques that you might find on the shelf is the slanted uh, holes I had to drill for these, the pegs. Uh, I don't personally like tilting the drill press table and then getting it back to 90 degrees. So what I did is I just beveled a scrap piece of two by four I had laying around and then used that to hold my work piece in place on the drill press, hold it at an angle so I could drill those angle holes. So it made it really easy. Another thing that might, you might find tricky is getting these slots um, just perfect. Uh, to do that, I just drilled a couple of stopped uh, holes at the drill press with the Forstner bit and then cleaned them up with a sharp chisel. And that worked out pretty well too. Overall, I think it's a great way to store all of our finishing items. Maybe we'll you know, keep it organized and use them a little bit more and keep the shop cleaner. So if you want the plans for this particular project, you can find it at woodsmithplans.com. And let us know what you're building your shop to stay organized.